Good morning. I'm laying in the bed still. I'm not going walking this morning. I have a doctor's appointment. I have to get a mammogram. I'm so nervous. So nervous. So I'm taking you guys along with me. This will be a short video. Because I'm so nervous. I need you guys to talk to. I need you guys to support. I am about to get up and take a shower. I'm not allowed to use any deodorant or powder like baby powder or whatever. My appointment is for 8.45 and it's 6 a.m. So, let me get my butt up. See y'all guys in a minute. I'm not getting fancy. I'm doing on tights and a t-shirt and some sunglasses. First and then, well, I'm like the second appointment. I think they open up at 8.30. Right, so I'm squeaky clean. First and then first my favorite t-shirt. I put my cross on. <laughs> like... I just I I I need I need a lot of prayers and I don't know I don't know like I'm nervous about this the mammogram I am nervous about the whole transference thing because it's like it just, stuff just hasn't been going well for me um but I will be okay I will be okay. I didn't get any sleep last night. I'm stressed about the mammogram, stressed about the transfer. Like, I just want to move. Honestly, I just want to move. I don't even want to be a part of this whole complex. Like, I don't want to really, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. I don't want to transfer to a different building. I really just want to just go somewhere new and start all over again. But because things are going this way and the clock has ticked, you know what I'm saying, down to the 60 days notice that I am leaving, like, to make sure my daughter has <clears throat> a roof, <clears throat> my throat, air on, central air on all night long, and a fan and a window. So, I don't, that's another one, but just to make sure my daughter is safe, has a roof over her head, has her own space. <sighs> you know, that's why I went along with it. Um, it it brings me down. Like it, I feel like pressure on my chest. My head starts to pound. Like it's a headache. That's that's a stress headache because it's not a regular headache. No Excedrin migraine will get rid of it. BC powder, stand back, whatever you want to call it. No. So. And then this, I have, um, I made a lot of doctor's appointments all at one time. I have an appointment next week for something else. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have two appointments next week, like. Um, my daughter starts high school in three weeks, maybe less than that. Um, I feel like right now I'm just rambling. I'm about to get out y'all face. I will see y'all, um, when I'm at the, um, office. I'll see you guys in there. Oh my God, I'm in here. This way, and someone else is in the room right now. <sighs> so, I'll be back. Good morning. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.20 a.m. Alexa, what's today's date? Today is Friday, August 6th. I'm tired, y'all. I do not sleep. For some reason, my bladder wanted to act up on me. So I spent the night in the ladies' room, tossed and turned, turned and tossed whenever I could. 
and then at four about 4 30 then i woke up to booms all above my damn head i don't know what the neighbors is doing upstairs it would sound like they lifting furniture moving shit around i don't know it's too late it was too early whatever stop just stop i look real bad y'all my heart keep doing this weird thing like it's racing really fast every time i get up just to hear them walking now they just walking that's concerning me head hurt neck stiff I think it's just all stress it's just all stress um, it's too early for me to get up and um, go for a walk but I will be getting dressed and um, hopefully the walk will make me feel better you know, I don't think y'all can really hear them because I got this this little fan going. Because every time I turn on the central air, I'm freezing. So I just got the fan going, the window fan going. So you guys can see it a little. Bit. Mess a bunch of stuff up. Well, you can't see it so dark. Well, I packed stuff up. So, yeah, and I got the windows open, so it's just like, you know, helping circulate the air. Instead of sticking it in the window because it'll get cold, I don't know why my skin is so tender. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I will see y'all in a little while. <gasps> that might be a good thing. I was going to put the three stooges on, but I think I need to um, maybe close my eyes at least for 30 minutes if I can. If they stop bumping and walking around. So I, anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while. Because like I said, it's too early. See, my heart is doing it. It's stress. It's stress. I will see you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys. So I never even told you how the mammogram went yesterday. They basically um, have you undress. You know, from the top to the waist. Um, no powder, no deodorant because it can come up in the, um, you know, mammogram looking like something that you don't want it to look like. Um, they put one in the machine, kind of like squeeze it with like, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Like the top, it comes down and it doesn't smash it, but it just cups it. You hold your breath about six seconds. And they, you know, take the little picture and then they turn it this way. When I say turn it this way, they turn it this way. You know, cup it with the machine. Hold your breath another six seconds, you know. And they do each about four different ways. I'm trying to say it without saying it. I know I sound crazy. It doesn't take long. Um, I'm thinking, I don't even think it took five minutes all together, you know, um, but yeah, um, I'm just not feeling my best right now. It feels like something is in my eye. Everything is just going crazy, but y'all, I have walked 13 days this week, three miles. One day I walked four. Um, y'all can times that if you want to. Three miles times 13. Um, I'm headed back home. I'm tired. My chest feels weird. I don't know if it's gas or if it's stress. But I love you guys. My eyes look weird, y'all. I feel like I look like the, um... The uncle from um, the boondocks. Yeah, I feel like one eye bigger than the other one. My eyes don't, don't look clear. I don't, I don't know. I love you guys. Stay safe, sane, stay positive. Try to stay sanitized. Remember that every step counts. And I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video.